We went and slept on mattresses on the floor, sold everything we had so that I could invest money in myself. I spent $700,000 investing in myself. Number one, you can't give someone what you don't have and you can't get someone to become what you're not. Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the seven steps to building unstoppable, unbreakable confidence. Now we all know this, the law to winning is confidence, okay? If you don't have confidence, you're not ever gonna win. Imagine this, when Kobe Bryant was playing basketball, do you think that he was confident to make the shot? Of course, right? And so how do people get that special edge, that confidence? In this video, I'm gonna give you seven steps. Now, I know a lot of you guys, you know, I drop a lot of content. This is tactical. These seven things, if you listen to me, okay, if you like, if you like where I'm at in life, my success, what I'm doing, you know, how I've come up quick. You know, I had confidence when I was younger and I created a good life, but now, unstoppable. It's next level. It's the edge, okay? And so if you listen to me, guys, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. I always tell you when we're training, what's written will be retained. Got to take notes. I want you to write it down. And I want when you're done, I want you to look at these seven things and I want you to really rate yourself. One to ten, where do you stand up on these, okay? I love you guys. Let's get to it. So number one, stop worrying about what other people think about you. Um, there's a good buddy of mine, his name's Brad Lee, and when I first got into the industry, right, of uh, coaching, teaching, he said, Andy, there's this word called allodoxophobia. And I'm like, dude, number one, like, I don't have that good of word vocabulary education. You know, um, it's like preposterous or uh, some crazy word. He's like, allodoxophobia, it's the fear of what other people think about you. The reason why you will or you won't make it will determine on how you feel about how other people think about you. You know, I remember there was a time that Ed Milet was talking on stage and he was talking about like the cab driver. You know at the end of a movie, right? You know how you got the main stars and then it goes into like the cab driver, you know, person number 19, 100 that was in building whatever and it goes through all those people. He goes, why are you worried about what cab driver number freaking 14, the person that no one knows who they are, says about you? Everybody goes through life, and instead of worrying about like your wife, your kids, your family, breaking your bloodline, breaking generational curses, hell, what you think about you, you're worried about what all these other people think about you. So when I wrote this down, stop worrying about what other people think about you, I want you to know, I built my brand, I built this company on not giving a shit on what anyone else thinks about me. Nada. I don't care. Look, if you're with me, that's great. And if you're against me, that's great. Look, dude, I'm doing God's work. I'm changing lives. I'm on a mission. I'm not going to stop. I help people. Look, dude, I don't care what you think about me. Look, people put boundaries on you. And, you, when, you, and when you go outside of those boundaries, people aren't going to like it. Okay? There's this thing that people would say to me whenever I first started changing in life. They'd be like, you changed. And I was like, what they're not saying, and because they don't know how to say it, is you've grown, okay? When you change, when you guys grow, when you're watching this, okay, I want you to understand this. There's going to be people that aren't going to like that, and there's going to be conflict. So, number one, stop worrying about what other people are going to think about you. If you're doing the work that you want to do, you should be massively confident in it, and who gives a crap about what the haters think? So stop thinking about them. All right, number two, keep promises you make. All right. Write this down, are you ready? Self-esteem, self-belief, self-confidence. Self-esteem, self-belief, self-confidence. How do you keep the promises that you make to you? Well, number one, if you want confidence, if you want this unbreakable confidence, this unstoppable confidence, you know how you get it? Just do what you say you're gonna do. See, you gotta have a relationship with you where you can trust you. If you say you're gonna get up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym, when you hit the snooze button, you don't get up on time, you don't trust you anymore. And that internally screws up everything and is a confidence killer. Look, I'm gonna ask you a question. Would you stay in a relationship with somebody that constantly lied to you, that lied to you all the time? Absolutely not. Well, that's why most people don't like themselves because they're always lying to themselves. Does that make sense? Guys, so listen, how do you build massive confidence? Do what you say you're gonna do, 
Keep your promises to yourself. That's the key. The hardest thing you'll ever do is keep your word. Anyways, if you can do that, boom, confidence goes to the roof. Number three, eliminate negative beliefs. Listen, I want you to understand something, okay? Low self-limiting beliefs will always be the dream killer of all success. You gotta reprogram yourself. So I want you to write that down, reprogram myself. I need to wash my brain and I need to brainwash myself. Matter of fact, you can do that on this video right now. You can wash your brain. You can brainwash yourself just like you reset a computer, you can reset you, you can reprogram your mind. Your mind is your greatest weapon. A warrior's greatest weapon is his mind. You're the gatekeeper to your mind. If anything is in your mind, who put it there? You did. Remember this, your mind is a piece of real estate. You can only put so many houses in it, okay? Don't put a piece of shit house in your neighborhood. Do you hear me? Okay, every time a, uh, information comes in, decide, man, is this good for me? Should I listen to this? By the way, the number one thing, why mo the number one reason why most people don't become successful is because they make up fake lies and stories in their head why they can't. Dude, no one else did that to you. You did it to you. It's called self-sabotage. Remember this, doubt is a traitor and you damn sure don't ever want to be caught doubting yourself. So, kill all negative beliefs. It's gonna be number three, get rid of it. Confidence, again, goes through the roof. Are you guys with me, you enjoying this? Guys, if you love what I'm talking about right now, do me a favor, number one through seven, I want you to comment below. Let me know what's your favorite, number one through number seven. And then also, comment below and let me know, hey man, are you digging these videos? Do you like this stuff? Do you feel like this is helping you become a better person? That's important. And guess what? Share the show, okay, how about that? If this helps you, number one, watch it 100 times, memorize it, go teach it to someone else, and share it to someone you love, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, good buddy, coworker, leader, let's send it. All right, number four, take action. Write this down, imperfect action beats perfect action every freaking day. I built the Elliott Group, a $100 million business, and I just took action. That's all I did. It wasn't perfect, it was ugly, it was imperfect, but most people just don't take action. How can I have more confidence? You know how? Get moving, confront the work. Write that down, confront the work, okay? Just take action, man. Everything don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have everything aligned. You just gotta take action. You gotta execute. Look, I know a lot of people right now, you're watching this, and the things that I'm saying to you, you'll find them to be true. And you'll know if you do them, they will change your life, yet you won't take action. Do you understand? And if you did, what would your confidence be like? through the roof, okay? I'm reprogramming you guys. I'm telling you how to do it, you feel me? I make these videos for you. I charge you nothing for these videos. And all I ask is that you change your life for the people you love, for the people that are counting on you, and for the people that said you weren't gonna make it. Why don't we burn their eyes out? You guys with me? All right, let's go to the next one. Number five, constantly improve yourself. Write this down, 1% better every day. That's the name of the game, those are the rules. Every single day, you should be getting better. Look, nothing, nothing stays the same. You're either gaining ground, losing ground, getting better, getting worse, nothing stays the same, nothing, nothing. So what are you doing? Are you, are you improving every day? Do you speak better than you did yesterday? Do you got a better mindset than you had yesterday? Are you being better to people than you were yesterday? Are you working harder than you were yesterday? Okay, is your mind more mentally clear? Are you more focused, you know? What are, you, what are you doing to get better? You can't just say, I'm gonna get better, and then you get better. No, you have to tactically say, how am I gonna get better? You have to plug in to training. You have to plug in to self-development. You have to develop yourself in order for your life to develop. Uh, life is a mirror. Who you become determines what you get. It's a mirror. If you want more, and you don't become more, you don't get more. Even if you do more, and you don't become better, or you don't become more, you don't change. You don't get more, life is a mirror. And by the way, with that being said, guys, down in the description box below on this YouTube video, down in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's a link, it says coach with me, coach with me. And as I say, you know, constantly improve. If you feel like that right now you're not getting better every day, you're stuck, you're staying the same, you know, you're on the verge of, uh, you know, like losing your edge, man, you want a breakthrough, you're not getting it. Dude, you just wanna kick ass. 
Okay, when I say build a hundred million dollar company, if you're disconnected from that and you're like, stuff like that can't happen for people like me. Dude, you need to self-develop, that is a lie. You told yourself that or someone else did, but I didn't tell you that. And I would say you're just as qualified as I am. So if you feel like, hey man, Andy, that's me. I wanna grow something big. I wanna be a builder. You know, I wanna do kick ass shit. I wanna change my life. I wanna self-develop. I'd love to help you on the journey. Guys, there's a couple questions on that link when you click on it below, about eight questions. Answer them, okay? If I feel like you're a winner and you're savage, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours and we'll talk about what it looks like to coach with me personally. Is that cool? Love you guys. Let's keep rolling. All right. Don't compare yourself to others. This is a big one, okay? Listen, dude, who gives a shit what anyone else is going through? You know what I was telling someone the other day? They were like, Andy, man, I want the same life you have. I want the same life this person has. And I said, dude, don't ever compare. You don't ever know what someone else went through to get what they have. Look, dude, I sold my million dollar house, you know, um, when I was 39 years old. And I literally went with my wife and my kids and my family and we went and slept on mattresses. This isn't a victim story. We went and slept on mattresses on the floor, sold everything we had so that I could invest money in myself. I spent $700,000 investing in myself. You know why? Because I knew I was gonna become someone that was gonna break my bloodline, that was gonna break generational curses in my family, and I, and I knew I wasn't who I needed to be. I needed that confidence, that confidence. So, don't compare yourself to others. Listen to me, if you want confidence like no other, that's cool. But don't compare yourself to others, just give it all you got. And if, if you do want what someone else has, you have to be willing to pay the same price they paid, and you could even have to pay more. Okay, I was in the automotive industry for a long time, so when people always ask me, Andy, you know, how much is it gonna cost me to get this thing? I always say, well, number one, it's gonna be full, full retail price plus addendum, okay? That's what it's gonna cost you. Dreams come with the price. If you don't pay the price, you don't get the dream. So, how big of a life do you want right now? Okay, you're not gonna get it for free. If, if you get it for free, everybody would have it. You're gonna have to pay the price. Now, listen to me. Don't compare yourself to others. That means this, you can kick ass, and if you see someone else and you wanna be just like them, just make sure you're willing to pay the same price or more to get the life that they have. Does that make sense? And if you'll do that, you'll get it. But have confidence in yourself. Look at yourself, am I getting 1% better every day? If you are, your confidence is gonna go up. You feel me? That's the secret. All right, next one, and last one. Okay, it's gonna be number seven. Focus on you. This is important. I was telling someone the other day and they're like, I love how you take care of your wife and she takes care of you. And I said, it, it looks that way from the outside and we do take really good care of each other. But there's a little secret, I wanna let you in on it. I take care of me for her and she takes care of her for me. If you wanna build your confidence through the roof, okay? Number one, you can't give someone what you don't have and you can't get someone to become what you're not. If, if, if you wanna build massive unbreakable confidence. You gotta work on yourself. You gotta focus on you. You don't need to worry about what anyone else is doing. What you need to do is five days a week, six days a week. You need to spend 4% of your day, which is one hour, put your phone down and exercise. Get an opportunity to get to know you. Talk through all the situations, the problems in your head. Dude, I literally, 6% uh, of my day, every day, five, five days a week at least for sure, um, I'm in the gym for an hour, hour and a half. No emails, no texts, no phone calls. I usually put some crazy Robert Bailey music on or I listen to a podcast and I go dark. And I just focus on me, no interruptions. It's a sacred place, the gym is. And it gives me an opportunity, it's like the vitamins for me, to become mentally strong, to become mentally tough, to get an opportunity to work things out in my mind. And I get, I get 24 hours in a day, that's how many hours in a day God gave me and you. And if I spend one hour to an hour and a half, five days a week working on me, guess who I'm really good to? Number one, I'm in an amazing attitude for the next 12, 15 hours. I, treat, I bring special energy home to my family, my wife, my kids, right? Which is my most important job as a, as a, as a father and as a husband. And I also bring good energy to my clients and my, and my customers. That's, that's, where do I get this confidence from? Focusing on me. I take care of me for you, okay? So if you wanna build massive confidence, you wanna build unbreakable confidence, you have to focus on you to work on you. And that's your vitamins, okay? Whether you run, whether you walk, whether you go in the gym, doesn't matter, just get some form of exercise. Something just for you so that you can 
You can see who you need to become. You can work on yourself. You can self-assess. Okay? You guys got me? These seven things will make you unbreakable in confidence. Guys, watch this video 15 times. I'm telling you, you'll get it. Rate yourself 1 to 10 on all seven of these, right? Do that for yourself. Comment below, message below. Tell me what was your favorite one, number one through seven, okay? And then also, you guys know, you can go down in the description box below, click on the link. If you'd like to coach with me, if you'd like to go to another level, if you believe your potential is more and you're capable of more and you're not getting it, I'd love to positively peer pressure your ass to go that way, okay? I can do it. You see what I'm doing in my life. I'd love to help you do it in yours. Guys, I love you. I hope, I hope that this video helped you. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next video.